We on? Yeah. All right, we are live in Exmouth, Western Australia. The crew are setting up all the gear. We are about to live stream the total solar eclipse. So exciting. We are in the perfect location to watch the eclipse. Um, we're right near the coastline. We've got the range out the side. Um, but yeah, the whole of Exmouth has been so excited for this event. So you can see we've got Ryan and Dre behind me. My name's Norshwe from the Terra Australis team. We're hustling to get ready right now um, because we're about to have the first touch of the moon over the sun. So. Great. Oh, we're already there. Oh, we've already had the first touch. Oh, that's so crazy. Um, but yeah, the boys are setting up and we've got lots of crew down here that have just started setting up all their cameras. We've got some cool telescopes down there. Um, it's all happening. Uh, we've even got some helicopters flying overhead, documenting the whole thing. Um, but the whole of Exmouth has been planning for this event for quite a few years and um, yeah, it's so exciting that the day is finally here. Um, so for those of you that don't know what a total solar eclipse is, so today what we're going to be witnessing is the moon passing between the sun and the earth. And we're going to see a total solar eclipse here which means that the moon is going to block out the entire light of the sun which is pretty exciting and other places in Western Australia are going to see a partial eclipse um, and I've never seen anything like it before so it's pretty amazing that it's happening in my hometown in Exmouth um, and there's a lot of speculation obviously we're here in the Ningal where the Ningaloo Reef is um, and that's pretty amazing as well because we don't know what the animals are going to do so it's going to be great to hear about what happens out on the reef and in the range later as well. Um, but yeah, the guys are sort of just setting up. So throughout this um, eclipse, we're going to be coming around. We'll explain some of the gear that we're using. Um, we've got two absolute gurus, Jason Shane, which we'll introduce you to in a little bit. They're just getting all of their equipment ready. Um, but yeah, we'll give you some facts about the eclipse, give you a rundown of what's happening. Um, but the total eclipse is going to happen in about an hour and a half. So we're all super excited for that. Um, but yeah, we will check in again soon and Meet some of the team. You! Woo um, you know what's interesting is through the scope, it's bottom right coming up like we're talking about, but through the binoculars, it's actually top down. Look out, look out, back, 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 back. It's actually top down. All right, guys, it's Jason here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the scopes that we've got here today. The scope that you're looking through at the moment is, uh, is running through an 8-inch RC8 telescope. Um, we have a, a proper glass solar filter on this one and uh, running a Canon, 6, uh, sorry, a Canon 7D Mark II to give you this, uh, this footage. You get some uh, sunspots here. Uh, you don't get any of the prominences around the outside of the sun. Uh, however, that's what we've got another scope for. We're going to move over to that scope now and give you a quick look at this. This is a special solar scope, so you can see a little bit more of the uh, surface of the sun and uh, we'll be able to see some prominences around the edges. I'm going to let Shane have a little bit of a chat to you about the, uh, the solar scope. Good morning. How amazing is this? We've got first contact in the bottom right hand corner of the, uh, the moon and you can actually see some on the far left hand side down the bottom you can see a, a solar flare coming off it's quite a large one looks like it's you could easily fit the earth inside that flare uh, a couple of sunspots and what looks like a large scar just at the top that's a dark dark region that line is a a uh, an area where the sun is slightly less hot but we're still talking thousands of degrees uh, but uh, the surrounding area obviously a lot hotter the sunspots are prominent there's a there's a, a smaller one down at the bottom roughly in the middle just offset to the left um, yeah and I'll hand you back to Jason Louise wants to say something good morning good morning <laughs> All right, excellent. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. I see we've already got like over two, almost three hundred people already in the chat here. I see a lot of uh, a lot of chatter coming through. Hi from Melbourne, uh, hi from Sydney, hi from Indianapolis. G'day from Canberra. Hello from Geelong. Love from Sydney. 
How good is this? This Rich? is so great. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we're so happy that we can share this amazing event with you all. Um, and yeah, I can't believe the day is finally here and we've managed to get it on the live stream. I know, I know. It was really touch and go, believe it or not, guys. I was on the plane at 7 a.m. this morning from Perth. I got off the plane 9 a.m and rush to the site to get this up and running by 10 for you all. So, so stoked to get here. So stoked that we didn't have any delays. So stoked that we haven't had any equipment problems. And we are so happy you're here to help us document this amazing event. It's, it's so good. I've, I've, look, last week I didn't know it was coming here. So I'm so happy to be here. Love my Astro stuff and love being here for this incredible event. Like, look at this. The, it's ever so slowly, it's moving over there. So what are we going to expect today? We are almost a total eclipse from this position. <laughs> um, the moon is going to cover the sun and we're going to be plunged into darkness for probably about 15 seconds. Um, we'll be able to show you uh, the, uh, the view of the, the moon crossing across there. We're going to switch between the two scopes that we have set up here and um, and when we've got some people to talk to we're also going to put you on the main camera there we'll put everything over in the picture and picture view so you don't miss anything out there but yeah uh, we're going to just leave you for a couple of seconds here I've got a couple of extra little techy things to get sorted um, but we'll leave you with Nush and the rest of the crew enjoy what we see so far guys awesome I'm just going to have a little chat to some of our other crew that are here. So we've got Ryan and Dre that you saw in the background setting up um, before getting all of their equipment ready. So they're documenting the eclipse today, filming and taking photos. How are you guys feeling about the eclipse? Uh, we are so excited. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and we are in the perfect spot anywhere on the planet. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. We've got that much gear, tech, everything's live streaming. It's, uh, you know, an absolute momentous day. We're pumped. Super pumped. We'll touch in with Dre in a minute. He is just sorting some cards out. So we might go over and have a little chat to Shane because I don't think you guys have met him yet. Well, maybe we can go on this one. Are we on screen? Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you feeling about the Eclipse today? I'm uh, pretty excited. A little bit tired from last night, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's started and I've never seen one before, so oh it's awesome. Oh my gosh, Wicked. so exciting. Um, and you were here at five this morning yeah. setting up all of this amazing yeah. equipment. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was touch and go because we, we like to set up the mounts uh, using the, the, to get good tracking, use the sky at night. So you need, um, you need the South Celestial Pole to, to achieve a good, a good track. Um, but we seem to be doing all right. We've only got a little bit of movement over a few minutes, so that's not bad. But yeah, it was, it was a bit of a stress. But they, they wouldn't let us on site till about six. So we're here at five and we kind of snuck our way in a little <laughs> bit and we, we managed to get one, at least one of the mounts tracking pretty well. So yeah, That's pretty awesome. Cool. What yeah. can you tell us about some of this equipment that you um, can see behind us? Well, they're both equatorial mounts um, and they drive the, the, the telescope across the sky. We've got a, a Newtonian reflector on this one. That's the big one. Uh, Wait, so that's this one here? That's the big one. Hold there. on, let's yep. just like move this way so our yep. viewers can see. Oh, oh yeah. Get, yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. my bad. Cool. Yep. Um, yeah, so th that's the Newtonian, the one on the right, the black one, the big one. The little gold one is actually a, a pretty special one. It's dedicated and only does um, solar imaging. And so that's got a hydrogen alpha filter and the sun produces a lot of hydrogen um, emission. So it, it only f focuses on that light. Um, which is great because you can see the solar flares and, and a bit more detail on the surface. Um, Jason's got a um, an RC, Rich Kretian, um scope. That's just doing uh, time lapse of, of the sun and it's quite zoomed in that one. Um, and then the refractor on the top is just a, a, another solar filter, plain, plain solar filter. But that's, that's doing a live feed. So Jason's switching between that and the gold um, hydrogen filter. So yeah. So epic. We're so lucky yeah. to have you guys here with all this amazing equipment to document it. So, so epic. Pleasure. Yeah. Um, and so you've never seen a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse before. Have you ever never. seen a partial? I think, yeah, many, probably when I was about 16, I saw a partial yep. um, and, and filmed that. But, uh, you know, I've upgraded my gear since then. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah, it was a long drive up here. We, oh, I've never driven that far and, we, yeah, we were... We're blown away just how far it's oh, Western Australia is so far. So to yeah. give you guys a little bit of perspective, um, 
Exmouth in WA is about 1300 kilometres north of Perth, so we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, but that is why the area that we're in is so beautiful. It's incredibly remote and we've got the Cape Range National Park, the amazing Exmouth Golf and the Ningaloo Reef right on our doorstep. Um, but Stunning. yeah, did you guys smash it out in a, in a day we, or? We, um, no, we went from 7am, we got in the car, we were in Guildford, which is in a suburb in Perth and we, we drove till about six and then found a spot and then we realised we couldn't actually stay there because it was, was pretty special. It was a lookout uh, somewhere just south of a town called Wurramal. Yep. Um, and then, so we got back in the caravan, drove, drove a little bit further up, another, another hour or so, and then found a spot. Uh, and then the next day we were about five, six hours. So yeah, it's, a, it's definitely not something you want to do in one hit. Yeah. But if, if we were to go straight without stopping, yeah, it would take you... 13, 14 hours, something like that. Yep. So it's, it's a bit of an epic journey. It is, yeah. yeah. Dre and I, because yeah, we live up here and we often do the journey from Perth to Exmouth. And um, yeah, sometimes you just don't have time. You've got to smash it in one day. But by the time you get here, you're like, I need to sleep for three days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, there's so many stresses too. You know, being in Australia, um, you're not only dealing with, we had goats, we had kangaroos, we had emus just walking along the side of the road. Uh, there's cows, there's pretty much dingoes you name it everything can pop out we saw a giant um eagle like wedge tail on, eagle a wedge tail eagle just sitting on the side of the road that was cool um so many things but they are beautiful but they're also dangerous because they they love to just jump out and and, and get hit so yeah it's yeah especially when at dawn and dusk it's really bad so you you can't really drive in in those times you really should pull over but yeah we we didn't we just we had just, to go a bit slower yeah we just dropped it down to about 80 and and that was it and so for anyone in america that's like what's that uh probably like 60 yeah. <laughs> miles per hour <laughs> nice and slow yeah, yeah, for our wildlife yeah, yeah, yeah so good um yeah and that's like a really key message that we've been trying to put out to everyone traveling up our coast we do have so much wildlife kangaroos emus dingoes um, and yeah, they all do tend to hang around at night. So if you can drop those kilometres or pull over, that's really, it's really yeah, great for our yeah. wildlife. Um, yeah, what was cool, we saw these two emus and they, they just did not seem bothered. They were on the side of the road, just, just like chatting to each other, just running along. And they, we drove past at sort of 80 or 90 and they, it's like they weren't even bothered by us driving past. You know, the, yeah. the wind rushing past them, they're just like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just cruising. Australian. They're probably pretty just used cruising. to like those yeah. cars banging yeah. up the straight road. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we will let you get back to cool. doing a little All bit good. of sorting. And um, yeah, we'll check in in a little bit. We'll maybe put it back on what's happening up in the sky. Yeah. You.
What can you see up there, right? No. There's a solo eclipse happening, did you know? <laughs> did you know that's why all these people are here? Check out these bad boys. Whoa, those are sick! These are designed for just viewing this solar eclipse. Actually, amazing. And because everything's so dark, you actually really got to find the sun. But once you're, once you're onto it, it's, um, it's a sight to behold, that's for sure. Wait, can I have a look? I'm just staring into yeah. the sun. I was like, oh wait, I don't have binoculars on. <laughs> yeah, you need to have some sort of eye protection. Remember, remember to do that and, <laughs> and find the sun. Oh wow, I got it. Wow, that is wild. It is it's wild. It's just like slowly creeping down. Um, have Come you ever seen a solar eclipse before? Never, never. A couple of lunars, but never a solar. And I think that's why it's so unique. And you're looking out here and there's thousands of people and everyone's just obviously looking up. All telescopes, all cameras pointed to the sky. Um, it's so cool. Yeah, so epic. And you've driven up from Perth to see this. I flew up um, with all my gear. It was sort of a, a bit of a mad rush to get up here. And you just, as soon as you land, you just feel that energy of the town. Everyone's just pumped. And we've been practicing over the last couple of days just shooting the sun. You know, it's different type of photography. It's a different type of, um, of video that we, we don't, ever shoot it's the first time we've ever done it so it's just a bit of practice you've got to get different kit yep. different filters um, you can't just use your normal um, filters you know it's just going to burn the sensor out of your camera yep. so what we've done is just um, kit it up for a solar clip so next time one comes we're going to be ready oh so epic and so tell us about what equipment you're using today I'm just shooting on the R5 with a 400 mil and a, just a screw in solar filter Dre's uh, on the red I think he's got a 600 but with a doubler um, so his is really tight and you can almost or well, you can see like solar flares and black spots on the sun and you know you when was the last time you've ever done that never <laughs> never. Never, <laughs> never unless it's on tv so cool. but to do it with your own eyes and to be in control of something that um you know you get to take the photo or you get to focus or zoom in it's wicked oh so cool um and while you've been here as well uh you've been seeing some other natural amazing phenomenon you some with a whale shark the other day too. Uh, mate, Exmouth is like, you know, it's my my spirit animal in terms of where <laughs> I'd love to live and, and it just you get here and you just feel uh, you know, you're surrounded by that nature and you just know how nice it is up here. And the water is amazing, the the countryside's amazing, the wildlife, you know, the town's really cool and calm. And yeah, we, we went out the other day and we were just gonna go over and have a coffee and they were like, oh let's go out on the boat instead and we, you know, launched a boat and within honestly 25 minutes I was swimming with a whale shark so all crazy. to myself this thing was massive like you know I don't know six seven meters and you know as big as a bus <laughs> and it's just me and him hanging out in the water and it's just um you know you can't buy that experience and we're just so lucky that this is our backyard yeah. you know you guys live here just super it's just super precious and and that's why there's such a massive conservation effort and it's really uh, all about environmental awareness as well and this sort of community really brings that out because everyone's just pumped about nature so yeah. um, I'm stoked to be here I'm stoked to be a part of that and hopefully we can bring some really cool vision uh, for those that can't be here or it might be at work or you know it might be uh, at home looking after the kids whatever it is jump onto the stream send us a message in the chat um, if you've got any questions we'll try and answer it yep. um, and then yeah let's see how it pans out yeah so good well I'm gonna go and take some more photos radio thank you very much oh well I Actually think we yes great so we've got our um, live stream gimbal set up working so we can actually go for a little bit of a walk and maybe chat to some other people um, about the eclipse and if they're excited should we go for a little walk this way before we do excuse me uh, Lou can you keep an eye on that little screen with us on it? And I just want to make sure that if it starts glitching and we've gone too far, you start waving your arms around so that we, uh, <laughs> so that we know that, that we need to walk back this way. Uh, but, uh, uh, but, right, let's just put this one here. Let's go back to that one over here. Let's make sure that it works and then we'll go for a uh, little walk, shall we? Cool, sounds good. Yeehaw! All right, let's go. Let's go this way. We'll see how we go. Um, but as you guys can see behind me, we're on the beautiful Exmouth Gulf, and this is an amazing uh, natural habitat here. So it's a beautiful mangrove area, lots of estuaries, and we have so many amazing species that come and rest, breed, 
feed in the Exmouth Gulf. Um, so whale sharks sometimes come through here, very rarely, but um, our beautiful humpback whales migrate through um, and they rest and carve in the Exmouth Gulf, which is so amazing. We see dugons, blue whales, manta rays, um, and everything in between, sharks, turtles, rays, um, endangered species such as sawfish. So this is an incredible environment, and I can't believe that we have the total solar eclipse happening right here in the Exmouth Gulf. Um, but anyway, we'll keep on walking. We don't have too far. We can okay. Hey, guys, how are you? Do you guys mind jumping on a live stream where um, you don't want to? You want to jump in? No. no? Right, we'll keep moving. All right. Let's try over this way. <laughs> Hello, how are you going there? <laughs> Hi, I'm Noosh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, we're just doing a live stream at the moment for Australian Geographic um, about the solar eclipse. Would you mind having a little chat? Sure, no problem. What was your name? My name is Jared. Jared, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. Texas? Oh my gosh, you travelled such a long way. It was kind of a, quite of a long ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how long did it take you to get here? Well, it took 16 hours to Auckland and then uh, I don't remember how many hours from Auckland to Sydney and then from Sydney to Perth and then another flight today. So it's uh, it's been a, been a journey. Yeah. yeah, and so you arrived this morning. We got to um, up, up here this morning, so oh we got my in, we went to Perth yesterday. Yep, amazing. Spent the night. Yeah. Have you ever seen a solar eclipse before? This will be my third. Your third? Yes. And where were the other ones that you saw? So in um, um, in Idaho in uh, 2017, and then uh, the the not the most recent one in Argentina, but the one before. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. So do you think that has for you has it become sort of like a um, addiction that you kind of want to travel around to see. For sure, for sure, and it's been a little tricky lately. So, yeah, of um, so we're we're uh, happy to be able to do this again. You yeah, know, it's it's fun to go places uh, to see this, and um, this is a, obviously a great place to go. So I was uh, happy to see that the eclipse was here. Oh my gosh! And have you been to Western Australia before? No, nope, never been to Western Australia before. Oh my gosh! Nope. Are you going to stay a few days or just here? Two for the weeks. Eclipse? Two yeah, weeks. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. Well, it's a long ride. Yeah, it is so, a long <laughs> ride. You got to make the most of it for yep. sure. Oh, thank you so much for having yes. a chat. It was so lovely to meet, yes, you. Nice to meet you. And enjoy the beautiful eclipse. Thank you. Thank you. We'll keep on going a little bit. Hey guys, so sorry to interrupt you. How are you all? Good. Good. Um, my name's Noosh. Would you guys mind having a little chat? We're just doing a live stream for Australian Geographic. You guys want to jump on? You can all jump on in. <laughs> awesome. Um, so where are you guys all from? Perth. Perth. Cool. And did you guys drive up or fly? We drove. You drove. Cool. And is this your first solar eclipse? Yes. Oh, so exciting. And have you been to Exmouth before? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, so great. What an amazing time to be here for this amazing event. Um, Good weather. the point of the trip. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's why you guys came up yeah. for the eclipse. Yeah, um, and are you going to stay for a little while afterwards? Yeah, we're going down to Calvary. <laughs> cool, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Just a little, little drive. And what are you guys most excited about for the eclipse? Like just the totality or just seeing this like once in a lifetime yeah, opportunity? How big is that? It is the once in a lifetime opportunity. It's going to be the whole event. Yeah. <laughs> you only get to the experience at one time, you know, I mean, like, because who knows what you're going to be doing further on in life, you know? Yeah. Who knows if the sun will exist further on in life? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's such an amazing. Yeah, that's it. You never know. Um, but it's so cool to be here, and like this atmosphere is pretty amazing. Yeah, um, I've heard a lot of people talking about how quiet it is here. Like, there's just so much space, and no one's going crazy, which is unexpected yeah. for Australia, apparently. <laughs> I think that um. Heard the Perth festivals. Yes, I think in X now, if you know, they've just done such an amazing job like spreading all the events out so there's kind of people spread out everywhere um, and obviously like a lot of people are enjoying it from nature as well which is pretty yeah. cool. Um, have you guys been doing a bit of snorkeling while you've been oh, here? definitely. Yeah we were staying along the Ningaloo Reef. Beautiful. It was, it was really beautiful. Were you camping in the Cape Range National Park? Uh, I think we were. I'm not I near so. Wherever miles. Sandy Point is. Sandy oh beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. nice. And yeah, what did you guys think of the reef? I didn't swim out that far. Away. <laughs> yeah, he was the only one that swam out that far. No, I didn't. He didn't swim out that far. I didn't even get out halfway. <laughs> I'll turn back. Oh, that's still a pretty yeah. good effort. <laughs> I saw a starfish. You oh, saw yeah. a starfish? Yeah, that Beautiful. Was pretty good, pretty good. Apparently, oh, there awesome. was a turtle eating our fishing bait. <laughs> We didn't see it though, Alle <laughs> Allegedly, according to one of the other campers. How amazing to have all of these amazing species right here where the solar eclipse yeah, is happening. It is, it is. It really is. 
sneak shot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so good. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for having a chat, and I hope that you really enjoyed the eclipse today. Yeah, Hello. How are you going? Yeah. Good, how are you? Yeah, good, I've just um, loved the eclipse. <laughs> just a big fan of you and the eclipse. <laughs> Um, we've just got some chat coming through. People are loving oh, the conversations. Amazing. Yeah, and um, they just want to make sure that they can hear them. So we've got to put the microphone oh, nice and close to them. Up. Thanks okay, for the cool. heads up. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Sorry. Yeah, it's just all going on here. So, yeah, I'll remember to put the microphone a little bit closer. Because um, yeah, there's so many good stories and they want to so hear what it is. so many good stories. Yeah. It's, it's incredible that people are just travelling from all over the world to be here. <laughs> so cool. Well, we were in line getting some food earlier and there's one guy, he just follows them around. This is his 13th eclipse. That's what he's an eclipser. That's what he said we're called. He's just like addicted to them. And I heard another story about a bloke that's just flying in, watching the eclipse, back on the plane, flying out. That's it. He's only here. I butt in and ask, was he from Austria? Yes. Yeah, I was sitting next to him on the plane. The Austrian dude, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. You were sitting next to him on the plane. Amazing. Yeah. world. Yeah. Cheap flights. Not. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go back. Okay, radio. Well... Um, Ryan's just heading back over to get some more snaps. Maybe because we've got all these lovely people sitting in here, we might go and have one last little chat. Um, yes. Oh, let's go talk to the Premier. Oh, oh. Woo! Okay, you're going to lead might need this to one. Drag him this way. Okay, yeah. I'm going to we'll get, we'll get him. We'll see, but we'll see. We might need to ask permission. Oh, yeah, we might need to ask permission. <laughs> you can't just grab a politician and talk to him whenever you want. Otherwise, that would affect real change. So the weather's good. It's um, you know, a little bit of wind. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. Is there? Oh, hang on. Something's going wrong with the gimbal here. Yeah, doesn't doesn't seem to be a cloud in the sky, and I think what we've been blessed with is that bit of wind. The, uh, at, at the, uh... All blue. Yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty good. That's X mouth for you, mate. Blue skies, blue ocean. Yeah, That's what we love about no it. No clouds to be seen. Not a single cloud. We were here at half past four this morning to set up and it was blowing 25, 30 knots and there was cloud everywhere. But luckily, I think that strong early morning wind helped us and blew everything away. So we've actually got perfect eclipse conditions. Not that I really know because I've never been at an eclipse before, but I assume this is it. Everybody's pretty happy. Um, huge contingency of tourists that are coming in on bus. So it looks like they're actually chartered um, like a, it's a, like an international tour group of astronomers. So they've all rocked up, they've all got their suitcases, they've got their bags, and they've just got rows and rows of telescopes, camera gear. And it's a bit like when you go to a campsite and you walk around and you look at everyone else's tent and you're like, oh, you get tent envy. It's a little bit like that with telescope envy. Everyone's walking around comparing telescopes, asking each other questions, but it looks like a pretty happening community and uh, everyone's here for a really good time. A lot of people just kicking here underneath all the marquees and, um, a lot of people set up along there, so they're actually they're standing in the shade, but all their camera gear is on the outside, which is cool as well. Yeah, good day, mate. How's it going? This is Andre. Oh, X running around crazy today. X mouth local. Oh, this is awesome. Hey, like everyone's buzzing. Like it's sort of crazy because you can't. If you if you look around, it's super bright. You don't think anything's really happening, and you get on a telescope and you're like, what is going on? It's literally the moon's coming over the sun. Like we, it's I can't even explain it. I just just doesn't look right but it's uh yeah it's exciting I, I don't know if this is true but i was talking to a guru and he said that they don't really know which way the moon was going to come what direction the moon was coming so for wild, and for hey. some reason in my head always sort of coming right to left and uh and hello sir hi <laughs> how are you roger cook roger cook great great to have you here mate <laughs> welcome how how is it how exciting is this? This is so cool. We, um, we've spent years planning this, making sure that we had all the government departments working together, working with the locals to try to make this happen. Uh, and we're here now and it's all going really smoothly so far, so we're really excited. It's happening and the fact that you organise the weather as well is just it's yeah. a really nice touch. We really appreciate that. You know, that. the locals were saying, oh, mid-April, I think there's going to be a bit of cloud. Not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud. That's what yeah. I was saying. Blue skies, blue oceans, you know you're in Exmouth when it looks like that. Exactly, yeah. And the general feel is a huge buzz. Town's pumping. Town's this pump is pumping. Pump, yep. 
and it's going beyond just Exmouth as well. We've got thousands of people in Coral Bay, in Carnarvon, and across the Gulf in Onslow. So this is this is a really exciting event, not just for Exmouth, but the whole region. I did a tour yesterday around of um, some of the market stores that are around, and there was vendors that were, were selling their wares, photographers and people making yep. clothing. And I asked them, what does it mean to you to have the support of the WA government and Tourism WA to, to, to let them get exposure like this? Yep. And they were just so thankful and, and, yep. and selling more and getting more exposure than they ever would of anywhere else. Yeah, we've funded uh, around about 40 of the local businesses to elevate their business, to really just cater for the, the big influx of visitors. Uh, they are highly appreciative of what the government's been able to do to work with them just to make it happen. And so I think part of that is, is uh, the reason why the community's got so on board. Yeah, I think so. And in a perfect natural environment, natural setting, couldn't be anywhere else in the world. Uh, and I'm just really glad it's here in WA. Yeah, well, look, we wanted to, in the first instance, create a safe event, and I think we've done that. We're really pleased with the with the tens of thousands of people who've made their way here, so that's fantastic. But we want them to have a great experience as well. And through a lot of the tourism product that we've developed and support for the local businesses, we've been able to do that. And finally, of course, we want it to be a legacy. The world knows about Exmouth now, and we think this is really going to elevate the local tourism industry. It's amazing, and there's so much more to Exmouth. We've got the whale sharks, we've got the gorges, we've got manta rays, you've got camping, you've got fishing, you've got boat tours. It just it, it doesn't stop, and it's just a jewel in the crown of WA. Unique, pristine environment, incredibly unique area, uh, which... Uh, has World Heritage listing, and so it should. It's it's an extraordinary part of the world, but great hospitality as well. Terrific uh, community to, to sort of holiday in. So we're really expecting this whole area to take off from here. Amazing. Last question. Have yes. you got your solar glasses? Can I, you put them on? I, I don't. Oh, you haven't I, got I any? I left them over there. <laughs> Where are my solar glasses? Oh, look, here we go. So majority of the people are getting around yep. with these. Do you want to come over and have a look at it? Oh, don't, yeah. we, don't we look good? <laughs> Come and check this setup out because yeah, we're, we're live streaming. We've got some of the best tech on the, on the whole of Exmouth, yeah, as amazing. we see. Yeah, yep. a lot of equipment we've got going. Where are we looking? Yeah, so here. So come, come around here. You can see. Oh, wow. It's just, I don't even know how to explain it. But That's extraordinary. So what's about a quarter of the way, do you think? It's yeah, it would be pretty close. Yeah, got a really nice crescent shape going on in there. You see the sun's moving. Yep. And then the moon's coming through. Yeah. It's all happening quite quick. It looks like it's slow, but it's like this is creeping through frame pretty quick. You can quick. almost, yeah, see the movement, can't you? And that's, it's, you know, and it's happening here. It's, it's so incredible. This is the this, only this time is, we'll see this. This is so bizarre. This is a, like, a, a unique opportunity for, for the locals, for everyone that's traveled here. And we're just so appreciative that it's be, that we'll oh, be able to stage it in this way. Yeah, I love it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm so, it's so yeah. good. It's so good. Awesome. They've got a pretty epic setup over here too. Oh, it's like... Here's some telescopes we just made today. Some of these flares can be as big as a planet. Yeah, um, that is extraordinary. Yeah, ja Jason knows a lot. The guys, yeah, yeah. the guys that have come here to do this, Jason Shane, they are. Full bottle. And so what's going on? What, what's that stuff we see through there? Um, I just killed it. I honestly, I didn't touch it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a live stream over. Thanks very much yeah. for watching. The, the <laughs> premiers just uh, shut it down. Oh, really? I don't know, yeah. Jace, we've got this like black line through the sun. What do we got here? Uh, okay, so there's some sunspots around there. Yeah. Um, Shane, can you, can you land that thing and jump in maybe and, uh, and have a quick chat? I'm, I'm holding the camera. So these, everything's, yeah. everything's going on yeah. here. So around the outside of the yeah. disc of of the um, of the sun is uh, prominence. So okay. Yep. Prominence. Out, the that are going out. Tell us what we're looking at here, Shane. Well, we got some solar flares. If you can see them, I, I yep. uh, I've noticed that since There's I've never seen this before. Here, yeah, yeah, I've noticed that since this, uh, the uh, the moon has come in to the frame, the the flares seem to have diminished. Yep. Um, it oh, may really? be scattering light in a different direction that we can't see, but they were quite prominent. Well, right, solar okay. prominence was quite yeah, prominent. Yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah, that, there was about one, two, and then an, another big one here. And earlier this morning, there was a massive one coming oh, out wow. here. Yeah. Um, but you can see these sunspots wow. here. Yeah, so what's that? They're yeah, cooler areas. They're cooler they? areas. Yeah, yeah, you know, quite a few degrees cooler. So s several hundred. And um, yeah, it's, it's a uh, pretty special event, isn't it? Because I don't hey, think. So what are you going to see during totality? 
will it literally just be a, a black dot. At that a, point. a black dot, but what what Can I you may see do? Coming out the side? Yeah, so what I might do is bump up the the gamma on this and just the exposure just a little bit, yeah. and you should be able to see that that those solar flares, and at that point in time, they will be quite prominent. Yeah. Um, and what I'm hoping, anyways, that's what I've seen. And this Wonderful. is our first. Uh, eclipse, so total eclipse. So you know, it's just, it's just like making it up. Well, you you making it up. You yeah, don't yeah. Do too, too yeah you don't get yeah. and you don't get a second shot at it. Yeah. You know, before you know, it was supposed to. The first contact was about 10, 10 03 or something like that. At t ten oh two or ten oh one, whatever it was. Oh, well, by my watch, anyways, we we got first contact and we're like, oh, oh it was a, a yeah. mad panic to yeah. sort of get get everything going but um yeah it's going well it's looking fantastic hey thanks no for the opportunity no worries thanks for coming yeah, down yeah. we Pleasure. appreciate well it cheers cheers and all the very best for the um for the total solar eclipse awesome thank, thank you. you no worries roger cook ladies and gentlemen you just don't get a top quality politician like that walking in and helping you out for the day such a good bloke so positive always doing really positive stuff for wa and um he just loves loves this stuff and we're, and we're happy to have him up here checking it out with us we're going to um, jump off the mic for a little minute and we'll just keep this rolling so you guys can keep tuning in. Please keep sending in any questions or messages. We're monitoring the chat. We'll try and respond if we can. And um, yeah, enjoy the eclipse.
Alrighty guys, uh, we are back and we're just going to jump on and answer some of your questions. So I can see on here we've got, um, will we see the other areas as we reach totality just to see how dark it becomes. So we're probably going to keep the sun and moon on screen for the totality but we will try and move around so you guys can see it getting a bit darker. We will move around in just a second as the light actually has just started to drop. Um, a little bit over the Exmouth Gulf. Oh, yeah. um, it's it just started to get a little bit darker, yeah. yeah. It's got like a shade, yeah, yeah, it really has. And, um, and the temperature, and, and, and you notice how that it's starting to get a little bit of breeze as yeah. well? It's it amazing. feels like we're going yeah. into, yeah, like yeah. What sunset, it's yeah. like. Almost halfway. They reckon like... at totality it, you can really feel it. It's, yeah. a, it's a massive drop. In Not only of light, but temperature as oh, well, of course, yeah. yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Someone said, can you guys see the UFO? <laughs> I haven't been looking. I should probably get back out there and have a look. No, but I can see Elon Musk's jet flying across it. Um, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for tuning in as well. We've got a hi from Texas, Argentina, um, Perth. Where else have we got? I'm just having a little scroll through the chat. Hello from the UK. Oh my gosh, you are up at 3.45 a.m. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is so, so nice of you. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad that we can show you back to a little bit of Ningaloo uh, from your visit from last time. Um, I'm just having a quick look. Oh, we've got someone from Cornwall as well. Um, someone said, what can we expect from the animals so yeah that's a very curious thing um, and obviously as you guys know we have the Ningaloo Reef here so the Ningaloo Reef is a fringing reef that runs uh, just over 260 kilometres and it starts just north of Carnarvon at a place called Red Bluff and comes all the way up here to Exmouth and to the Murian Islands and it is a fringing reef so a fringing reef means you can literally step off the shoreline and you are right amongst all of the beautiful reef fish, coral species, sharks, rays, turtles and all of the other species that we see on the reef. Um, but there is a really large question about what is going to be happening on the reef as the solar eclipse happens. Um, and we actually have a number of researchers that have put down some acoustic sounders that are going to record the noise of the reef uh, as the total solar eclipse happens. So that is going to be some very awesome and interesting information to know if the reef sound changes. Um, and for those of you that don't know what a reef sounds like, uh, so a reef sounds very alive and very active, especially one like Ningaloo that is so healthy. So when you're underwater, you hear a number of clicks, little sort of like trills, um, and this is all coming from animals on the reef. Um, and essentially, a healthy reef will have a lot of noise, but we don't know what's gonna happen when the total, total solar eclipse happens. So another big question, of course, is what is gonna to happen to our whale sharks. So there is a number of tour vessels out on the reef today that are going to be trying to swim with whale sharks today. Um, and yeah, we don't know if our whale sharks are gonna stay up and keep on traveling like they do in the day, or if they're gonna take a dive, head to the bottom, um, or if their feeding technique changes, if they're feeding more when it becomes dark. Um, so yeah, that is going to be uh, very, very interesting. Uh, let me just quickly have another look. Oh, hello from Belgium. Hello from Queensland. Um, hello from Scotland. Oh, wow, Russia as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, just trying to go through some of these questions. Why is the moon yellow? Why don't you guys maybe answer that? Why the moon is yellow? When, when is it yellow? It says, sorry, maybe they mean why is the sun yellow? Sorry, I think. Sun yellow. That's a very good question and I can't answer that. <laughs> I suppose, look, the, the, the light that it emits, the only thing I can think of is, well, hydrogen emits a pink to, to yellow hue. So it could, it could well be that considering it's a, a massive hydrogen bomb. So um, that's constantly exploding and has been for billions of years. So it, uh, that could be the answer, but yeah, as to why it is, why is the sky blue either? So <laughs> oxygen is, is blue. So I would say, yeah, it's a hydrogen. It, it would be the short answer. 
cool. Thank you so much for answering that one, Shane. Um, I w might get one of you guys to chat just a little bit more about the eclipse and what we're going to see today and just like a little bit of a deeper explanation of what a total solar eclipse is, if one of you guys feel like jumping on it. Uh, I'm sorry, I was not listening to the question. Re please repeat. <laughs> okay, sure thing, I will repeat. So um, I sort of briefly spoke about what a total solar eclipse is, yep. but I don't know if one of you could maybe, or Shane, sorry, if okay. you could please just dive a little bit deeper into it um, and explain like the path of totality and, and yeah. what we're going to see. Uh, to be brutally honest, I'm not a... I'm an astrophotographer when it comes to deep sky stuff, so galaxies, nebula, I'm, I'm, I'm a buff when it comes to that. But as far as um, solar, as far as I'm aware, it is when obviously the, the moon is in direct line of sight to the sun from where you are on the planet. So that's why it's such a small window of uh, 30, 40 kilometres, whatever it is, um, the path of totality. It, the moment you step outside that, you start seeing an offset of, of that image so it, it, it's, it's easy to describe um, on, a, on a piece of paper but it's basically the light path traveling directly to your eyes from that particular spot on the planet and and that's why uh, solar eclipses are so rare because sometimes they just land in the most obscure places there was one in China and it was clouded out um, so it, it, you know that's the other thing you can spend all this time preparing for something and then you get bad weather and, and you don't see it and people travel all over the world to see it and, and they don't see it because that, that one location um, is, you know, is, is clouded out. So yeah, we're lucky today because we've got blue skies, not a single cloud in the sky, which is, which is great. And um, yeah, so we have had a treat. And the other thing is this is a hybrid, from what I gather, a hybrid eclipse is an annular eclipse. Um, and this hybrid eclipse is a combination of all three types of eclipses. So this is, uh, yeah, it's a special one. So I think they only happen every decade, I think it is. Whereas a, a total solar eclipse happens more, more frequently than that. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much, Shane. That was a really great little explanation um, of what we are seeing. Um, so I might actually jump over to Jace, who is sorting out a lot of our equipment, but um, he has been the man running this show with all the camera equipment, all of the gears, got cables going everywhere, getting this set up for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to ask him a few little questions. Um, but can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and you're a live streaming guru. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Right, yeah, sure. Um, so I've been live streaming pretty much since live streaming was around. Um, we essentially have people come to us and say, hey, we want to do this and I have to figure out how to do it and then build the tech to actually accomplish it. So what we're using today, obviously, you've seen the telescopes. Um, we've got cameras in the back of the telescopes outputting that image live to our, um, our live streaming equipment. The equipment, for those who are interested, um, runs over all of the networks, uh, all, all of the 4G networks. We also have um, a SpaceX Starlink internet uh, system or satellite dish here and um, we're actually bonding the outbound stream across all of those internet connections so it helps if one drops out we don't drop out and it helps bring you guys a nice high quality stream i hope you're all enjoying the quality um, as far as other projects uh, another one which uh, i'm fairly well involved in is uh, all about educational outreach um, underwater diving with the marine biologists talking about what we discovered down there that's a great fun one the entire other end of the universe essentially the bottom of the ocean rather than up here in the uh in the heights of the celestials um and uh, that one's great fun as well because you get to talk to the divers the uh the viewers get to watch they get to ask questions about what it is that we discover down there and the great thing about diving is that you don't know what's down there when you jump in the water so we get to discover people get to ask and learn as we go that's so cool to be able to show people the bottom of the ocean live like that is pretty wild it is well you never know hopefully we'll be able to do something uh together with that sometime sounds so good yeah it'd be amazing to do stuff on Ningaloo reef or even with whale sharks well now that we have starlink it's available globally so we can basically go anywhere and have decent internet which has only happened in the last year or so so it's it's great to be uh helping further our our technological advances to a point where we can do things like this and we can actually bring you these sorts of experiences live from the middle of nowhere
So awesome. And another question I was going to ask you, have you seen a total solar eclipse before? Not a total one. This has been my first opportunity. This is why when I got the phone call, I jumped at it and why I haven't slept the entire night because I had to work yesterday and jump on a plane this morning. So yeah, I'm, I, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Well, We're so, I, so, when, so when happy you're here. When I got the opportunity here. anyway, I, I didn't miss it for the world. So yeah. We're so happy you're here because yeah, um, just seeing you know the lengths that you guys have gone to to capture this is so amazing, and um, we feel really grateful that you guys have come up here to to be able to share this with the world. So it's thank you generous. so much. It's just really generous of the boys. You know, there's people all around the world now that can tap into this that are um, you know either enthusiasts or novices or. Or whatever your whatever your interest, it looks so cool, and I think everyone's really into it. we will just um, Shane was just saying that because of now that we're getting sort of almost halfway through, you're starting to see different anomalies on the surface of the sun. We're starting to see solar flares that we couldn't see before. Some that were present before have now disappeared. So there is a bit of a, a physical reaction. Yeah, I, I don't. I think it's just the light. Like it, it, it may be that the sensors. Um, the, the camera set because obviously it's not the moon casting a shadow across the sun yeah. but um, but I'm thinking that it might actually be the sensor on the camera is trying to compensate for something weird that's going on and you're seeing this sort of there's extra detail on the on the right hand side that I, that I couldn't see before so it yeah it's sometimes with CCD sensors you get it to the corner of the sensor it, it, you get less light than you do in the center so I'm wondering if it's something like that I've never seen it before so it's yeah it's kind of interesting there was a, a little streak just um, on the left so just on the left hand side just just to the yeah to the left of the moon surface you can just see that that yeah that little it looks that, like a like a scratch yeah, or a vein a sort of vein, yeah, yeah sort of hor horizontal there, one that I, well, I, I vertical one sorry yeah. yeah really cool so we're getting a lot of interest around uh, our little station oh, over yeah. here because just because of the technology that these guys have brought to the table and everybody can see this live feed in high resolution so you know it certainly beats looking through those little tin foil glasses that some people you know that's all they had to look at it which is still cool but we um you know it's really great to just be able to share this with everyone because they're just so interested in it as well um, alrighty guys, so we might just have a little um, break from chatting. I know, uh, I can see on here a lot of you would like to see a bit of scenery of Exmouth, so we might try and change the cameras around and um, we can show you a bit of the range in the background um, and what, what we're looking at here. Um, and then when the light gets a little bit darker, we might change and um, over so we can show you that as well. It's just still a little bit bright at the moment, but we'll um, have a little break and we'll be back with you very soon. Alrighty guys, so I know a lot of you want to see what Exmouth looks like, so I'm just going to show you um, part of our beautiful outback bushland and some of the rain, so if you want to follow me. So you can see behind me, we've got the Cape Range National Park, and this is our beautiful national park uh, full of limestone uh, amazing gorges where we see creatures such as black-footed rock wallabies, kangaroos, emus, dingoes, wedge-tailed eagles all living up there. Um, and over the other side of this huge range that you can see is where the Ningaloo Reef is. So we're on a peninsula at the moment and we're on the eastern side of the peninsula um, and that is where the Exmouth Gulf is and then the reef is over the other side and a lot of our animals 
migrate between these two areas. So, um, for instance, our humpback whales that visit us every year from Antarctica, they'll cruise up the Ningaloo Reef, round the top of the, the peninsula, um, and a lot of them are mums and calves, and they will come and rest and rehabilitate, appreciate the warm waters of the Exmouth Gulf, while Antarctica is super cold, um, and then later in the year they turn around and travel all the way back. So a lot of our animals do do the back and fro. Um, but as you can see, it's a really beautiful sunny day here in Exmouth, um, and we're so happy that there's no clouds, so good, <laughs> because I'm sure everyone was quite worried about that. Um, but yeah, so you can just sort of see like some of the scenery there. Um, and we will try um, and show you a little bit more of the Gulf side when we jump out the other way in a moment. Um, but yeah, um, not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, but yeah, we obviously are in a very remote location, so a lot of people coming here have come up with caravans, camping setups. Um, and obviously have to travel a really long way. So to hear that we've got people from all over the world, it's pretty amazing to, you know, visit our little slice of paradise right here on the reef. So um, yeah, we'll jump back around this way. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can notice yet, but the light actually has started to drop. It's actually um, getting colder. Yeah, it is. You've got a little bit of a temperature change as well. Um, and it is quite a sunny, hot day in Exmouth today. It's over 30 degrees. So yeah, it's definitely dropped a little bit in temperature. But if you follow me back this way, um, We'll come and um, have a little look. Hello, how are you? I'm back, I'm back, it's so good. <laughs> um, would you mind having a little chat? Is that all right? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, would you mind... Uh, Minister for Transport. Minister for Transport. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, and have you been to Exmouth before? Yeah, absolutely, a number of times, but um, just flew in this morning and it's a great vibe and so many people out here at the viewing platform. It's fantastic. Awesome. And have you seen a total solar eclipse before? Never before. And I've just told my kids to tune in to your channel to make sure they're watching it from Perth because this is the best vision I've seen. Oh, that's so awesome. How good's that? <laughs> yeah. So happy to hear. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing um, to your kids. That's so good. Thank you. Um, yeah, but thank you so much and we'll see you soon. See you. Hello there. How are you? <laughs> Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Doris Parker from Dundaroo Avenue Corporation. Awesome. And yeah. um, have you come to visit Exmouth for the solar eclipse? Yes. Oh, yeah, for that and to do the crabbery with the kids. Oh, amazing. So you were at the festival down yeah. at Carter Bay yesterday? Yep. Yes. Um, can yes. you tell us a little bit about be the careful. festival? Be careful. Um, well, I'm glad to be back because that's my homeland where my mum's was brought up and all that. Yeah, it was lovely to go back and see the place you worked there when she was really young. Okay. Yeah. Had, her, had her first child there. But um, yeah, uh, the kids really enjoyed it, put a really good job on. Yeah, it was a yeah, beautiful and, festival. And I like the girls too that were dancing from Carnarvon. Or the um, coral spawn yes, dancers. It was beautiful. Um, so j just a little update, there was an amazing festival at Carterbyre Station yesterday which is just south of Exmouth um, and this was a beautiful event to celebrate our amazing Indigenous heritage of the North West Cape um, and there's an amazing Dreamtime story related to the solar eclipse um, and the story goes that it's a love story so Jindal, Jindal's the sun, she's the woman and Willara, he's the moon and he's a man and they only meet every couple of hundred years um, in the Indigenous history um, and our traditional owners were so happy that it was going to be here on Ningaloo. Um, so the sun and the moon they meet and they actually make love and then the moon leaves, he leaves Jindal the sun um, and then later in the year in winter there's the birth of all the new stars in the sky and the moon is looking over them, watching over the kids that night. So that's our beautiful Dreamtime story and yesterday it was pretty incredible down at the station um, our wonderful traditional owner Hazel Welgar actually put on an amazing drone show that told this Dreamtime story um, and yes we had some incredible drones up in the sky telling this with some amazing visuals so it was very special to hear that story um, and to be able to share that with you guys as well. Um, hello there, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm Nush, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, we're just doing a live stream at the moment for Australian yeah. Geographic. Um, but would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, I'm Kyle McGinn. I'm the Upper House Member for Parliament in this electorate. Um, so Kimberley, Pilbara, North West Central and Kalgoorlie. Awesome. And uh, Parliamentary Secretary for Regional Development. Awesome. Um, and is this your first total solar eclipse? I'm going to say no because I do remember when I was a kid um, that one happened. But 
I wouldn't be able to tell you if it was where we were or anything yep. like that. But um, the first one that I've actually been looking forward to. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's going to be so good to relive those memories today. That's Absolutely. Awesome. And it's been fantastic for the area. Um, yeah. You were just talking about the Jumba Festival last night. Um, we've been working with Hazel for a couple of years now. And um, that's the first real big cultural event we've seen in this area in a long time. Oh, and it was amazing, wasn't it? It, it, it rivals some of the stuff that happens in the Kimberley, um, yeah. which I think is fantastic for the future. So. Yeah, so, and to give you guys a um, little bit of an idea, so where the festival was, was at this amazing station called Carterby Station. It's in the outback. Um, there's an amazing, beautiful rock wall and there was a stage set up and we heard so much beautiful local music, musicians. There was amazing food, traditional dancing. So they have, uh, in, in uh, Aboriginal culture, they welcome the country and uh, you see it at every different area is a bit different because it's a different uh, culture but what they did last night was Hazel got up on the rock wall and then they put the spotlight on so it was pitch black over a floodplain and she's sitting there doing the welcome to country it was fantastic it was very special and what did you think of the drone show yeah it was unreal um, I actually thought it was Star Wars when it came <laughs> coming across the floodplain yeah. um, you could have played the Star Wars uh, theme song and it would have been pretty fitting but tonight it's down at Town Beach so uh, down in Exmouth they'll be doing it again I'm a little worried about the wind, but um, it should be uh, really good. And the story, like the culture of Aboriginal people coming across to international guests, you just can't get yeah. much better than that. So special. And we're so glad that we can share a little bit of that story with all of our international audience now too. Come to Exmouth, come to Carterbyre Station next year. There'll be another Jumbar Festival. So um, Hazel is one of the most welcoming TOs I've ever met. So uh, make sure you come along and say day. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for the chat. And um, yeah, feel free to check out. Thank um, you for doing all the work on getting it out there. Oh, Appreciate so good. It. Yeah, we're loving it. We've got a few reports coming in from Perth. Yeah. The light is getting much darker. Yeah. Um, so maybe we'll just like show you guys out here as well. Um, you might be able to notice like it is starting to get a little bit darker. So we'll come over and um, have a little chat with Dre because uh, he's just doing a little bit of filming over here. Hello. We got 11. 11.29 and 48 seconds is when we're getting starting getting into full eclipse begins. So the time is 11.10 now. So yeah, we've got, we got 19 minutes and 48 seconds. <laughs> oh, I've just been like just watching this and micro controlling it and it's, it's moving through the frame so fast. And like, if you look around now, your eyes are kind of funny because it's getting shaded. I can feel the temperatures change. Might need a jumper. <laughs> you don't need a jumper. It's like 30 degrees. Um, and obviously Exmouth is your hometown. How are you feeling about the total solar eclipse happening here? Oh, this is incredible. Like how how lucky are we? We, we don't have to go anywhere and we've got this massive buzz. Like I, I'm feeling like pretty buzz. What about you? Yeah, I'm feeling really buzzed. It's, um, I feel like, you know, everyone's really excited and hmm. just... Everyone's just been so lovely, wanting to have a chat, and it's really cool to see like everyone with their gear set up, oh, just wanting to capture yeah. this moment. We were here at five o'clock, um, and we weren't the first ones here. And yeah, Shane was already set up this gear. It was still dark. He was trying to track it, link up to a star before the sun come up, so the tripods could follow, you know, follow the movement of the planets. And then yeah, with by six o'clock, there's just people coming, and seven more people coming, and. Yeah, and you walk down there and it's just like, I've never seen that many tripods in my life. So there's just like tripods everywhere and people from all around the world. And we we're talking to a guy before and he's done 13, this is his 13th eclipse, solar eclipse. Um, he went to one in Sejuna and he said that it was clear sky except for one cloud and it literally like eclipsed right behind the cloud no. and then come out. But he just said that's it. But right now, I think we're in the clear. I can't see a cloud anywhere. Not a cloud in the sky, which I'm sure everyone is extremely yeah, happy about. Yeah, we've still got 19 minutes, so, so actually, oh. what have we got now? 18? Yep, 18. Um, oh, your um, screen's gone a little bit off-centre there. Yeah, it must be uh, planets moving. <laughs> we'll let you fix that, Dre. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, we might jump off and we'll show you guys what it's looking like up in the sky because we've been chatting for a little while. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm thinking we might do, Nosh, yeah. is when... It's just about time for that total solar eclipse. We'll put it on the screen, full screen. We might even put us in the top left hand corner, like like the overall view of the scopes, so that people can actually see it go dark and then light again. Yeah, that's such Christmas. a good idea. Yeah, I'm um right now it's actually hard to picture it going like completely dark because it's still got, know. you know, like it's getting dimmer but it's still quite 
uh, bright outside. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's like only 20 minutes away. It's so great. Awesome. Um, all right, well, yeah, we'll, um, we'll do a little changeover and um, have a pause for a chat for a minute and change some gear around, and we'll be back with you guys soon. Thank you.
Alrighty guys, Nush back here with you. Um, as you can see, we are getting a little bit darker now. We are very close to the totality. Um, I'm standing out here uh, so you guys can see as the light starts to drop. Um, and then obviously we're gonna show on the big screen for you the total eclipse. And then in that smaller viewing screen in the top corner there, you'll see us um, and all the boys running around trying to capture what's going on. You've only got 15 seconds to get this shot. It's called the Ring of Fire. It is amazing. It's where you see the moon in the middle and all of the ring of the sun around the outside. But it's a, it's a risky one. You've got to take the solar filter off the camera. You've got to get it back on before it gets bright enough to wreck your camera. And you got to get the shot. <laughs> oh my gosh, so all of the boys are going to be mm. running around trying yeah, to... This is going to be a very yeah, pull expensive it off. 15 seconds. Yeah, very expensive 15 seconds. Um, but yeah, it is starting to drop. Uh, I think it's still, yeah, still a little bit too bright to look at the sun right now. Um, we've got seven minutes to go. How are you feeling about trying to capture no, the I'm ring like, of fire? I'm a bit nervous, actually. <laughs> I uh, yeah, feel like a lot of pressure going on here um, and time is flying like a, a couple of seconds ago it was like 20 minutes and it was 15 and now we're down to like yeah we're down to five minutes or something so oh I just looked at it Did, shouldn't have done that careful with your eyeballs um, yeah so uh, just behind us yeah you can see a few crew with their eclipse glasses on um, and these just yeah obviously enable you to be able to look directly at what's going on up there. Um, I'm, can, I wish I could talk to you guys on the other end, but um, I don't know if you can notice uh, that the, the light is starting to drop. Um, everyone where we are is sort of like gathering outside now. Everyone's sitting down with their uh, glasses on, uh, about to take a look at the eclipse. Um, I'm gonna go have a little chat to Shane and Lou and see how they're feeling. How are you guys feeling about the, the next exciting. couple of minutes? Yeah, how's this? The, it's hard to describe what, it, what, the, what the ambience is like right now as far as the light. It's scattered everywhere. It's like a shade but an unreal shade. Like a, uh, to, to be honest, it's like you're drunk or something because it's just, it's just it's bizarre, don't you reckon? It's, the temperature's dropped already. Um, there's a slight breeze that seems to have picked up and it's just, um, yeah, it's bizarre. It's, it's surreal is probably the best word to describe it. Yeah, Yeah, it is really surreal. And um, Lou, how are you feeling about the eclipse? I'm buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting. So, so exciting. So exciting. I have to say hello to John and Linda all the way in the UK that they're watching and Chantel and Christy. I wish you were all here. So oh, we awesome. wish that they were here too. Yeah. It's so nice that they can join us yeah. online though. Yeah. Is this your first uh, total solar eclipse? Yep, yeah. first ever eclipse. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, yeah. and you've travelled up from Perth as well? All the way from Shane. Perth with Shane. Yeah, yeah. awesome. And Long you were drive. here this morning helping set up yeah, all the gear too? at five, so <laughs> I'm a bit tired, but it's all worth it. All worth it to see the natural phenomenon. Wow, I just feel like it just dropped, like yeah. in that little second there, it just yeah. went a little bit darker. Um, yeah, it's like a kind of weird... Uh, it's not like when the sun sets, it's like a different kind of light, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard to explain. You have to, exactly. you have to be I did, here. I, I yeah. did my best, but to say, other than to say it is just strange. It's like putting on a very strange pair of sunglasses that tint your entire vision in a very odd blue light way. It's, yeah, it's bizarre. And as you can fully notice the temperature dropping now, it's, it's, it, it must be, what, five to 10 degrees, I reckon it's dropped between um before before this happened and yeah and now so yeah yeah it's um it's gonna be pretty cool when it comes out the other side and it's gonna heat back up yeah, again as yeah. well um, um what is cool is in the sky behind us is we've got a um is, is that a chopper a drone it's a drone is it oh yeah it's i was just gonna say because if it's a chopper it's, it's hovering pretty well but from this distance it looks um yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's my eyes. It's affected. Everything. Everything's affected. I can't even make out that helicopter. I might have burnt my retina earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was looking at it earlier too, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have looked at that. Um, How is this? It's getting darker. Yeah, it's getting darker, and we were just saying it's like quite a strange light. It's not like when the sun sets. It's just like almost someone's put a pair of sunglasses on, like everywhere. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to, um, do you mind unlocking that for me? So sorry. We're just going to see if you guys have any more questions just as the, um, 
the totality begins. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the vision that you can see. Um, I'm actually going to have a quick look because I haven't seen what it looks like in a little minute. Um, oh, it's so close. All right. Yep. Yep. We are very close. I'm going to keep standing out here for you guys though so you can see um, the light dropping, um, what it looks like on the ground. Oh yeah. Perfect. It still looks like... But this isn't exactly live. This is the delay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How but yeah, no, nah, so cool. Um, yeah, I can't believe that it's like finally happening after, you know, I first heard about this eclipse like three years ago, so it's pretty wild that it's like come so fast. Yep, amazing. I just, I can't wait. Look at how dark it's getting. It's, it's incredible. And you guys can't see this, but there is a sea of people all the way over here. It's incredible. After the eclipse has just passed, we're going to grab the other camera and I'll zoom in and I'll show you all of these people over here. It'll be incredible. Yeah, awesome. And um, we can yeah have a little chat to a few people after the eclipse has happened as well. Oh, wow. It just dropped like another bit of yeah, light. I yeah. So <laughs> I assume you guys can see on, on stream, right, how, how much darker we've gotten up the top left-hand corner here? Yeah, we're getting, we're getting lots of feedback. Um, yeah. But yeah, they um, they said that it kind of looks a little bit hazy. Yeah. yeah. Like as in like, yeah, just that it, what it kind of is. Like it's like a weird dim light. Oh, it's starting to go really dark. I know it is. Is that, camera, is that camera on like uh, auto? Oh, it is so close. So close. All right. So yeah, the what the way it's described is that it will be. It'll be, um, oh, Hazel out. Amazing. T.O. is on her way. She's coming over this way. To witness the eclipse with us. Hey Hazel. Hazel. Oh my goodness. Alright, alright, we are gonna go dark in just a moment, everybody. How are you guys seeing? The light dropping a little bit. Everyone is very excited. What did you say, Hazel? I got I got goosebumps. Oh my goodness. The energy. Yeah, the energy is crazy. Yeah. Everyone's huddling together, taking a look at the screens. Very, very cool. Oh, it's really starting to go dark. <laughs> I can't oh. believe that it's the middle of the day and it's just going dark. Oh my god. <laughs> Come here. Oh, this is. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Oh my gosh, this is wild. <laughs> Woo! This is so crazy. I'm going to come quickly have a look at the screen so I can see what you guys are seeing. Oh my goodness. Light has dropped. Whoa. This is so beautiful. I am looking up at the moon and the sun right now. Um, they've just met. Hold on, I'm going to come talk to our beautiful traditional owner, Hazel. What are we seeing right now, We're Hazel? We're seeing a butter of the stars. It's the start of the journey of life. Oh my goodness. And what about Jindal and Willada? Jindal and Willada. Willada now has come to Jindal. And now they're together for us. Look! <laughs> oh my He's goodness. Done He's, He's done the job. <laughs> They've the met job. for the short time. Um, so for those of you, yeah, that were tuning in for our amazing story earlier, our Dreamtime story um, of Jindal, the sun, and Willala, the moon. He is the man, Jindal is the woman. They have just met up in our beautiful sky and had that brief moment together and now they are parting again. Um, oh my gosh, so beautiful. That was amazing. Oh, I'm just quickly going to have a little look at... Um, some of the comments going on. I'm so glad. Hey guys, Jupiter. Oh over yeah, we've got our star over there. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. What did you guys think of the eclipse? Yeah. What did you think? Good. You thought it was good? Was that amazing? <laughs> I'm making you shy. What did you guys think of the eclipse? What did you say to you? <laughs> yeah, just so, so emotional. Yeah. So special. Yeah, yeah, so I'm so special. glad that I got to share that with you both as well. So special.
Never, ever, ever. All these lot here will be the next lot. All this little family, little generation here will see it again. I know. Another I, hundred years. I feel so special that we all got to share that together today. Yes. How are you feeling? It feels. Like, did you feel a bit emotional watching that? Well, I've been emotional the whole time that I've been up here. Hazel and I are very close, mm. and um, yeah. we've been through a lot. And knowing her sister and her family, you, you've got a real connection. As soon as I set foot in Cardabaya, um yesterday, I was emotional. I was emotional all night last night with Hazel. And today is probably just what it was about. Yeah. So special to be able to be here and share it all together. Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. So happy for you guys. It's wicked. Um, yeah, so the, the light is just starting to pop back out, as you can see. Um, this is our beautiful Hazel. She's our traditional owner of the Ningaloo area. She is a Bayungu woman. How are you going today, Hazel? Yes. Really good? Really good. It, enjoyed the eclipse? Yeah, enjoyed the eclipse. And that's what it's all about, sharing the traditional stories. And we're going to do it all again tonight with our drone show here in Expo. So if anyone is in Exmouth, um, yeah, we'd love it if you could come and watch. But um, very special to share the amazing clips on Ningaloo. Mm. Yep, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Hazel. Um, all right, we're going to give you guys a little walk around now and we're going to show you some of the people um, down this way. So we'll go for a little walk. Now we're going to walk in front of... Shall I go full screen? Oh, oh, no. No, we'll keep, oh we'll let's have a little look uh, what people... Um, what? Yeah, we'll keep the Eclipse on there for now. I'll get you to hold that for a second. Yeah, sure thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom our camera in and give oh. everyone a view of everyone who's here. Awesome. So as you guys can see, there is hundreds of people that are gathered here to watch the Eclipse all the way down to the beach there. Um, everyone's got their camera setups going on. There's telescopes down there. Um, and it was a very beautiful atmosphere to be in this amazing location um, and just feel the excitement that everyone felt when the totality happened. Like there was just, you could just feel the energy in the air, don't you reckon? It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I just... Yeah, I don't know what I really expected uh, the totality to look like, but it was pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, I can't believe that it's just happened in my hometown on Ningaloo. It's like, yeah, it just feels really wild. But um, I'm going to have a little chat to these guys maybe behind me about what they thought of the eclipse. Hey guys, how are you going? Um, my name's Nush and we're just doing a live stream at the moment. Sorry, I'll let you uh, go out. But um, yeah, we're just doing a live stream for Australian Geographic and I was just wondering if you guys could um, tell me what you thought of the eclipse. Yeah, it was pretty impressive actually. Didn't really know what to expect. So yeah, it was pretty amazing. What did you think of the um, atmosphere as the totality happened? Yeah, everyone seemed pretty excited, I think. So... Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect, if it would clap or I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think it felt pretty special. And how about you? What did you think of the eclipse? Oh, I was blown away by it. That was like, I'm surprised at how excited I got. And it was just really special to be here with everyone. And how, yeah, how excited everyone got <laughs> for it too. I know, it's pretty wild, like, you know, when you think that so many people travelled so far to see it. And um, it just makes you feel like even more special to be here and to be able to enjoy it. But yeah, oh, so good. But thank you guys so much. I'm going to have a little chat with some more crew further on. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's have a little, let's see how far we can get to so you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on in the front over here. Oh yeah, thank you. Perfecto. Alrighty, let's have a little walk. Um, hello. Hello. Sorry, we chatted earlier. Yes, um, okay. Sorry, I'll just quickly go back to your name. My name is Jared. Jared, sorry. Thank you so much. And um, what did you think of the eclipse? It was great. I, I, um, this is why we keep doing these things. Is I like, as you kind of get into it, it kind of gets, the colors change, it starts to feel kind of eerie. And then, the, you know, you get that corona that pops out and there's just nothing like it. And it's still, it's still crazy. Um, you know, I talk to people today that have been to these since the 80s and they still keep coming, so... Um, I, I guess it never loses its magic, which is wonderful. It definitely did have a magic feel when the totality happened. It's like you can look up and just see this like amazing, vibrant like light in the sky, and mm -hmm. yeah, it definitely has an, a pretty impressive atmosphere. Yeah, you see the flares coming up on the side and the corona reaching out. Yeah, yeah. that's that's great for sure. Um, and I think you said earlier that you'd been to three other eclipses. How did, how did this compare to? Those? Uh, it's like picking a favorite child. You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is wonderful, of course. Um, and, you know, 
the this is the first time I've done one with a group. Like so, I've always been on like the side of a mountain by myself. Um, so this has been fun to kind of you know meet the community of people to do this. And um, of course, it's a Australia. You know, I mean, it's a great place to visit. It's not like people are like, oh, it's terrible. You have to go to Australia. It's people are jealous every time I tell them about it. So it's been wonderful to come here, and we uh, we've definitely enjoyed it. So wonderful eclipse. Thank you so much, and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your couple of weeks exploring WA. Of course. <laughs> Thanks so much for having a chat. We'll see you later. All righty, let's see if we can get a tiny bit further. Let's go over to these guys. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt you. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, we're just doing a live stream for Australian Geographic, right. um, if you guys don't mind having a chat. But what did you think about the eclipse? Pretty special, yeah. It was all good. We've been up here for 10 days setting the site up, so nice to have it out of the way, but very special. And how was the setup for the for pre-eclipse? Long and hot, but uh, this was one of the gentlemen that did it all. So I, I can't take the credit. It yeah. was a team effort. Awesome. Yeah. And obviously, you guys had a pretty good team. Like the setup you've created is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's a huge setup. We had a big team up here, and they've all done an outstanding job. What was the eclipse? Was it what you were expecting, or how did you feel when you saw the totality? Yeah, it's pretty spooky. <laughs> Definitely once in a lifetime, I think. But yeah, very special. Awesome. Yeah. And how about you? Uh, about the eclipse, yeah. it was um, extraordinary. Never seen anything like it. Uh, and the radiation with the light shining through the black circle too. It was anything I've never seen before. Awesome. And what my English, I'm Norwegian, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was so great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And what did you think of the eclipse? Yeah, it was very special. A very, very special moment. Uh, yeah, feel good. It's a pretty um, special part of the world to be in to witness such a beautiful thing. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Right. And thanks for the amazing setup as well. Pleasure. Yeah, it's Appreciate been you. an awesome day. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, can't go too much further. Maybe just over to this. No, we're out, of, we're out of room. So let's go back. We'll start talking to some of the crew about what they thought about the eclipse. Um, got some pet footy players going on here. Um, but yeah, let's head back over here and see how the team went in capturing some of their footage as well. Because, you know, as we said before, it all happens very fast. You've got to take your solar filter off. So let's go and um, have a little chat with the team about how it went. Hold on. Let's have a little look. Uh, it it's so bright. <laughs> yeah, and it's gotten hotter again as well. Like the temperature's already started to go back up. Um, Let's have a little chat to Ryan about how he went. How did you go? What was that? That was absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. It was, I, can't, I can't even talk. And I, and I love to You're talk. You're starstruck. I'm absolutely starstruck. That was, um, yeah, that was a once in a lifetime opportunity that, that I just, I put the camera down and just looked at it for, you know, for the short time that was, and it was just out of this world. I don't know how else to explain it. It was incredible just to got how dark it got, how, how quiet everybody got, and then there was that massive cheer, and um, yeah, that's a that was a special moment. Really cool. How'd you like? Do you like it? Yeah, it was amazing. I was going to ask you how you went with your photos as well. Uh, well, I had to go down and shoot down there, so I did. I didn't get to capture the the golden moment, unfortunately. So I missed out on that because um, I was, you know, down there covering covering what we were here to cover. So, yeah, um, yeah, you know, but I'm sure there's heaps of good photos around, and um, I'll just get the next one. Yeah, um, but like amazing, yeah, amazing to capture like what the atmosphere was like and what everyone was doing. What was everyone? So you were down near the beach? Uh, just yeah, just just down there in amongst all the crowd, and it was just um, yeah, it's just this massive sense of wonder, you know, everyone looking up, and and it's just great to see the kids and the and the parents and people were really quite emotional. One guy in front of me got a, an amazing, amazing shot and he actually burst into tears. He was crying at, at how happy, the, him and his wife obviously are really into it. They both nailed the shot and, and they, were, they were in tears. So that was special. And just lots of people hugging. It was like New Year's Eve, <laughs> hugging and kissing. And it's just, you know, it's just that moment that you share with someone that you can say, remember that time that we saw that solar eclipse and, and yeah, it's really special for people. It's good. All oh, right, make me feel a bit emotional. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. Now I'm going to do edit all the photos. So. Oh yeah, nice. No, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I think that our other crew are pretty busy at the moment, actually. Um, so we're pretty much working for some other um, crew as well, and um, yeah, they wanted us to capture the eclipse and get stuff out there ASAP. Obviously, live, amazing, because you guys can see it right now, but for other people that aren't tuning in live, get it in the news, um, up on social platforms and everything like that. So um, yeah, we might just like have a little break for a minute. Um, 
Let we, you keep watching it. Yeah, let me keep watching it because obviously it's still looking pretty amazing up there and we'll be back with you soon. Hope you guys are super enjoying it. You!
All right, guys, you should have us again here from the, uh, the solar eclipse here in Exmouth. We have a very special visit visitor with us. His name is Carl. He's from Austria. Tell us all about what you do, Carl. In my civil life, I'm a lawyer, and one of my hobbies is being an eclipse chaser. So I got hooked when uh, the first solar eclipse was visible from Austria in 1999. And so this is my 10th eclipse I travel to Ten. all around the world. So it's my second in Australia. The first one was 2012. And I've been to South America, North America, Asia. Wow. And the polar regions of Europe. That is amazing. And uh, the eclipse that you saw today, how did it compare to the rest of them? Was there anything particularly special for you about this one? The weather was great. Yep, because, not a cloud. <laughs> yeah, usually you always have to worry about if the sky is going to be clear enough. But this is a perfect place to watch the eclipse. Yep. And uh, the crowd was, was good, appreciating it. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of people here as well. I mean, probably not compared to some of the big ones you've seen uh, in America, etc. You would have seen much bigger crowds, right? But a lot less remote. Yes, that's correct. Mm. And uh, this is eclipse is special in, frankly, this is the only region of the world where you can view it from, from land. Yeah. Because the other parts of the, of the shadow would be in uh, New Guinea, for example, where there is rainy season. So you probably wouldn't see it because of the clouds. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see some uh, photos filtering through from those places, see if they didn't have clouds. It'll be interesting to see. Um, so we were lucky enough to actually be seated next to each other on the plane. And, um, and this is how full on Carl is about all of this. So we got on the plane at 7 o'clock this morning, got off here in Exmouth at, uh, at 9 a.m. And uh, when's your flight back? Flight back is at 1.55 p.m. 155 not long and you've got to be at the airport an hour beforehand or something right yeah well don't have any bags checked in already beautiful traveling light that's the way to go excellent thank you so much for your time and when's the next eclipse that you're heading to next eclipse is in, in about a year and it'll be in north america mexico us and canada so that's going to be a big one yes and it's going to be more easily reachable <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is your second furthest eclipse that you've traveled for, I believe. It is. Yep. It is. Farthest was 2012 in Cairns. In Cairns, right. Okay. And uh, your first time to Western Australia? Well, it's actually my second time to Western Australia. Right. Okay. First time was a long time ago in 96. And for an eclipse as well? No, just for... Uh, just for fun? Just for travel, yeah. Yep. Nice, excellent. So, Carl, thank you very much for joining us today. Really lovely to meet you, and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. We will. Great. Thank you, Nush. How how good has this been? It's been it's been so good having all these people here watching. Thank you very much. I've I've had a few people tell me that we've uh, that we've had over over four thousand people apparently have come through and viewed the stream over this time, uh, which is pretty mind-blowing. Um, it's been great being able to set up all the equipment. Great to have you all here. We're still monitoring chat. If you want to ask any questions, um, please shoot them in there. We're, we've got to be pretty selective about what we talk about. Of course, we've still got the eclipse uh, slowly diminishing at the moment. Um, but yeah, great to have you all here. Thanks again for joining us. Great to have the Terra Australis team here and, uh, and thank you to Australian Geographic for uh, having a stream to their channel. We hope you've all had a good time and uh, stay tuned, more to come.
awesome. All right. Well, uh, what a day so far. Oh, it's been so epic. It um, has been. And for those of you, if you're just tuning in, um, the totality has already happened, but we're just experiencing the crossing over the other side now. Um, so we just thought we'd share a little bit of information and answer some questions. But firstly, I thought I'd show you guys these glasses. <laughs> so these very trendy looking things um, were some of the eclipse glasses that were on site. And this is what everyone was wearing so that they could look at the sun um, before the totality. So you can pop these on, makes it super dark and I can still see what's going on there and um, yeah, the, the moon sorry, is um, over halfway back over the other side of the sun. So it seems to be happening quicker the other way for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely isn't though, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Um, yes, yeah, so sunglasses on now, now that it's getting sunny again. Yep. Um, so a couple of questions we had, what were they? Uh, so we had a few questions from you guys about why um, we had a full totality here and um, not down in like the southwest around like Margaret River or Perth. All right, so right here we were, we had the total eclipse. This was this is it. That's why it, why you saw everything go dark. Um, in Perth, I think it was around about seventy seven percent, and that sounds like a lot, but the sun is so bright that all uh, all the reports that we got from Perth were saying that it was just a little bit darker and that was pretty much it. Um, so that's the reason why we came all the way up here to see this because uh, um, if you think of how bright the sun is, if the, if the moon only goes, you know, partly 77% of the way across it, there's still a lot of brightness there to get, get past. So that's the, uh, that's the reason why a lot of our, our Perth people um, didn't see anything more than a slight dimming of the uh, of the light they probably saw a little bit of a color shift as well and that would have been about it um yeah but uh, it's still a great experience if you if you couldn't make it up here and especially if you managed to tune in and see us yeah yeah um and if anyone um did miss out uh watching the live stream i think that the whole thing is going to be recorded and posted it, up. it will be um you can go back uh, i think you can even rewind the youtube video right now and you'll be able to see it um i, I had a, a quick message from the guys from australian geo that's it's great thanks again for letting us uh, do the stream for you guys um they just said if anyone is interested uh to check out the website, all the links and stuff are in the description of the video. Subscribe for more awesome content like this for the future and follow us guys as well. Oh, yeah. So, um, Nush and the crew from Terror Australis, these guys do amazing work. You might have seen them in uh, Shipwreck Hunters Australia just recently. Um, You've been doing this for a long time, haven't you? Yeah, um, so we're sort of more specialised in underwater filming, um, documenting a lot of natural history and marine life, um, and also looking for shipwrecks and exploring shipwreck shipwrecks as well. Um, so if you haven't seen Shipwreck Hunters Australia, you can jump on Disney Plus and that is still on the platform. Um, and yeah, we have a production crew with Ryan and Andre that you met earlier, um, and our other workmate Johnny who is down in Perth as well, and of course our wonderful Captain Ash. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, any other questions come through from the chat that we... Uh... Um, you didn't set, tell everybody about your business? Like, oh, right. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, live streaming. So we do uh, customised live streaming services for anyone who wants to do anything. Uh, so if you want to do things like stream an eclipse or go underwater and live stream from underwater and swim with the fish then um, that's the sort of thing we do. So yeah, feel free to uh, look us up through the links. And... Oh uh, yeah, you go first. Uh, well, mine uh, is is pretty straightforward. It's in the in the description. Huh? Yeah, if you want to follow me, it's uh, at nocturnal n o k t e r n l on Instagram. Um, feel free to uh, hit me up there. And uh, how about Terra Australis? And we're um, on Instagram as Terra Australis. Um, and on YouTube the same and yeah you can follow on there for more beautiful underwater ocean content um, and yeah more cool live streaming or underwater things like this <laughs> awesome. um, but we thought yeah as well I'll just show you guys um, this I'm gonna try 
shine it so it's not in the sun but this was one of the filters that we used over the cameras behind us to capture the eclipse today so this is using that same kind of like filter like it almost looks like cellophane is the best way to describe it um, but this was like blocking out so much of the light and um, if I hold this up like you can't see through it no um, but if you hold it up and look at the sun yeah exactly you, just if you, see hold that it up, you can dot. just see the little dot so um, this is this was what was blocking out so much of that light but then yeah during the totality um, all of the photographers um, on the XMath Golf here were whipping off their filters and trying to get that like flare moment. Um, 15 seconds yeah. for the ring of fire. So you don't have long and um, uh, Ryan obviously if, if you heard earlier saw a couple that um, captured the moment and they burst into tears so it's pretty amazing that people travel all this way and it's like their you know it's like their mission to get this photo and experience it and then they do and it's obviously like quite an emotional moment. Yeah for totally. People. When you get that shot that you've been chasing for years some of these people would have been doing this um and when you nail it it's just like the best feeling yeah um i think like there was actually as well a few questions because we spoke about whale sharks a lot today All right. um and uh there was a few questions in there um about the best time of year to swim with whale sharks um so if you come to Exmouth, uh the best time of year to swim with whale sharks is april may and june um and after that they are still hanging around but our whale sharks come here um also for another moon event um but after a full moon in april the annual coral spawning happens and this is the release of a lot of the um, female like polyps into uh, sorry male and female polyps into the water um, and this sets off a chain reaction for a lot of other animals um, and obviously our whale sharks are filter feeders and they're feeding on all the planktonic organisms in the water and this is what brings them to Ningaloo so that's why they're here at the moment um, and yeah they obviously are gentle giants they are a shark or the biggest fish in the sea not a whale um, but yeah that's just a little bit of information about our whale sharks that we see here as well um, but yeah if you guys want to swim with the biggest fish in the sea, Exmouth is the best place to do so. We have a very non-invasive um, way to swim with them and of course amazing to interact with them in their wild habitat, just doing what they're doing, swimming along, feeding on the Ningaloo. Awesome. <laughs> that would be amazing to experience. Yeah, you'll have Hopefully to come back and do it, it when you're not here for 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you flying out tomorrow? No, no, we're driving back tomorrow. Oh, you're... Yeah, so, so Shane, who I have to give the biggest shout out to, Shane and Louise, saved the day because I couldn't get here other than on the flight this morning. They drove up yesterday with all of our, both of our equipment and he was the one who was here at 4.30 in the morning setting everything up. All I did was get off the plane and get here and plug a few bits in and start the stream. So yeah, kudos to him and, um, and yeah, couldn't have done it without him. We'll have to um, chase Shane down a little bit later and have another chat. But yeah, um, sure. just because we are running out of uh, eclipse time, we might let you guys... Oh, still a little bit to go. Yeah, yeah. We've got um, probably about another 45 minutes or so, I think. Cool. Something like that. Yeah. All right. We'll let you guys watch for a little bit and uh, we'll check back in soon. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks again. And keep putting those questions in the chat, guys. If you, if you do have any other questions for us, we'll be able to find someone to uh, answer them properly for you. Awesome, thank you! <laughs>
Hello everybody, we are back on. As you can see, we don't have much time left um, before the moon is going to be completely gone. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your comments. It's been amazing. Um, still getting them, still coming through. We've got a hello from Los Angeles, um, the Philippines as well, New South Wales. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and enjoying this beautiful natural phenomenon with us. Um, it's been a pretty massive day here in Western Australia. The team are up super early, getting all of the equipment ready. Um, and yeah, it's almost one o'clock here. It's about quarter to one. Uh, and yeah, we're almost at the end end of our, our beautiful total solar eclipse. Uh, and it was pretty amazing that the guys, Jason and Shane, um, they've never neither of them have filmed a total solar eclipse before so they just did an amazing job and we really hope that you guys enjoyed the amazing visuals that they had going on. I definitely think if anyone uh, did miss the live stream and you want to or didn't get a very good view of the eclipse from the ground um, yeah, it's really great to jump on here, just to even watch the totality, getting that great view. Um, just a little bit of a close-up of, of the sun and the moon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys heaps. And um, we will jump back on in front of the screen uh, just shortly to do a little wrap-up and say goodbye. But yeah, thank you guys um, for all of the amazing comments. We're still getting them coming in. Um, so yeah, thanks heaps.
Okay, we're on, we're back. Wow. Hello everyone. Um, we're just jumping on here as we're coming to the end of our amazing solar eclipse in Ningaloo, Western Australia. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. I feel so grateful to have had an amazing international audience joining us. Um, and it's really exciting going live because you just feel like, I felt like you guys are part of the action, which is really cool. Yeah, you're really in the moment. And just the messages we had from all around the world, people asking questions, you know, um, getting advice on, on the gear, talking about the experience that they were, they were viewing at home. It was just so good and, and great for everyone to be a part of it. Um, we do have one little conservation message that we would really like to put across. Um, and if you head over to our YouTube channel, we put up a video yesterday called Be Kind to Ningaloo. And if you would like to know what Exmouth looks like a little bit more, you can watch that video. Um, but it's just about, obviously, this being a really busy time of year here. Um, and we just want to encourage people to clean it up as you go, respect the reef, the range, the gulf, and um, yeah, enjoy your time here. But just remember how precious and lucky we are to have an amazing location like the Ningaloo Reef. Um, That's right. Yeah, and um, from on, from here, if you want to follow along on the adventures that we go on, uh, we're Terra Australis on Instagram, TikTok. You can find our website, terraustralis.tv. Um, and as Nush said, we've just got that uh, series out, Shipwreck Hunters Australia. So we love filming natural, unique moments with wildlife, uh, lots of drone stuff, lots of underwater stuff. And uh, we hope that you'll follow us along. And if you've got any... Uh, you know, questions or further requests, please let us know. I think we might do this live stuff again one day. It was really fun. It was so fun. But I'm just going to get Shane, Jace and Lou to jump on up here. And um, we'll all say goodbye. Andre. Um, Andre. Oh, he he's very busy. Uh, but, Ten seconds. But, um, but yeah, thank you guys. These are the, the magic. Oh, these are the guys are the magic makers the magic. right here, these three. But, yeah, thank you guys so much. It's been an amazing experience. You guys worked your bums off to yeah. make this live stream happen, and we are very, very grateful, and I'm sure the audience is super grateful too. Thanks. Thanks for joining us, guys. You. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks for having us. <laughs> thank you. Hope you enjoyed. All right. See ya. Bye. Goodbye from Ningaloo. Andre says bye. <laughs> Bye-bye now.